So this is the first time I've gotten to drive this car in about two months. Uh, let's go. I miss driving this thing so much. Words cannot explain. See, the thing is that I finished installing the turbo kit in uh, mid-November, and I did not want to drive this car during the winter. I don't want to get salt all over it. I don't want to get it rusty. It's a very good condition Miata, and I wanted to keep it that way. So, I finished the turbo kit mid-November. I got it tuned late November, and then I pretty much only had a couple of weeks to drive it before winter came. God, those noises. <laughs> but yeah, I did not get to enjoy this car as much as I should have. Um, but that's okay, it's warm today. The roads aren't salty because it's rained a couple days and we're driving it. The funny thing is I only have 98 miles logged on the turbo kit, so we still don't really know if it's reliable or not. I mean, I'm sure it is, but something could go wrong right now. Also, I need to kind of richen it up right around idle because Right when you get on the clutch, it, it bogs down a little bit. That's because it does not have enough fuel there. It just, it's leaning out a little bit right when you're getting going, right when the clutch is engaging. So I got to uh, fatten that up someday, but I'll do that later. And for now, I'm going to wash it as I glow in the sun of cloudy days. What the heck? I don't, I don't understand how that works. Ah, uh, no park steering life is a hard life. I can't wait until winter is over. I can start driving this thing every day again, and I can start working on it again. I mean, I could start working on it now, but I'm kind of trying to save up some funds for some other things. By the time the next autocross season comes, I want it to have better brakes and new suspension. Those are the two main things I want. Oh, and better cooling. So three main things I want uh, for next season of autocross. See how second gear likes the cold. Oh my god. Second gear does not like the cold. Holy shit. What I love about turbocharging the Miata is that it's still super drivable. And like it's so comfortable on the highway still. Well, okay, I'm not on the highway, but it's comfortable cruising around. I pretty much doubled my power without getting rid of too much drivability. I mean, it's still gonna be reliable, hopefully. I'm sitting at 223 wheel horsepower and 200 wheel torque, which these motors can handle just fine. Gas mileage is about the same as long as I don't get into boost. Obviously, if I'm boosting it around, gas mileage is a lot worse, but just normal driving, gas mileage is the same. The only bad thing is that the tune isn't perfect. Um, it does not like to start up when it's cold. Like, if it's below 20 out, it, it, it has some trouble starting up. I mean, it will start up, but you, you gotta do it like three or four times. When I brought it to the tuners, they asked me what I was going to do with the car, and I said I was mostly going to autocross it and stuff, so they tuned it more for drivability on the racetrack than they did for drivability on the street. So, you know, getting off the line at like low RPMs is a little weird, gets lean a bit. The idle is a little bit high, it's around 1100, but besides that, it's all good. God damn, I missed that. Oh, I love it. That was like half throttle too. The one main issue we have to fix with this car is that the front main seal is leaking a little bit. When I first put on the turbo, it leaked a lot, uh, but then I put a new PCV valve on, which helps with the boost, and then it stopped the leak quite a bit. It leaks a couple drops after I've driven it for a long time. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear me. It's kind of loud in here, but. I'm sure you guys watched Car Throttle. Remember Phil? Yeah, the Turbo Miata. You know how it blew up on the, um, the Nurburgring and it spilled oil everywhere? That's because the front main seal blew up. Uh, so that's the thing I want to fix so it doesn't blow up and it doesn't spit its oil everywhere. While I'm down there, I'll do the timing belt, uh, I'll do the water pump, and I've actually done all that before on Nick's car. In, in the far the future, I want to get new tires. Uh, I was looking around. Right now, I've got 225, 45, 15s, and they are. Uh, Hankook RS3s. They're pretty good tires, um, but as you see, they're still not grippy enough. I mean, first gear, you're not going to get grip no matter what happens. Second gear grips up most of the time. Uh, it depends what the conditions are. Previously, I thought these were the biggest tires you could legally get and drive on the streets, 225s, but they're not. Uh, Maxxis makes a 245 40 
R15, and those are gonna be massive. 20 millimeters bigger than these. I'm gonna put them on all four corners, and it's gonna be so much, so much better. But obviously, these tires are still brand new, so we're gonna get a couple uh, of autocross days on them, wear them out a bit, and then get the new tires. Oh, I'm getting new suspension because of that. I've got cheap eBay coils. They're uh, Unaka. For the money I paid for them, you know, they do the job. They make it low, and they make handling a little bit better, but they're still eBay coil. At some point, I need to get the drivetrain from the, uh, the later model Miatas. This car right now has a 4.1 viscous differential, and those are known to be weak, and according to the Car Pastor channel, they can handle around 200 wheel horsepower, and I'm making 220 wheel horsepower, so it's only a matter of time before that thing blows up. It also just isn't a very good differential. I mean, it hardly ever locks. It open diffs quite a lot. So that's why I'm going to be getting a 3.9 Torsen differential. And those will have a little bit longer gearing, so it will grip up a little better. Uh, it will just be a little funner. And yeah, it'll pull harder. And of course, in order to get that, you need the 1.8 drive shaft and the 1.8 axles. The thing about those differentials is they're kind of hard to find. And when you find them, they're pretty expensive, so. Uh, I gotta, I gotta be on the lookout for one of those. So, if I can find it, pick it up right away and have some fun with it. My mouth is really dry because I haven't had anything to eat today, and I'm just going to talk and I'm gonna stop at Mickledee's to get some grub. I just love all the noises this car makes. You got the blow off valve, which sounds pretty good. We've got the super light flywheel, which on close throttle acceleration rattles a bit, which kind of sounds like it's braking, but it sounds like a race car. It sounds awesome. Under full throttle, you can hear the turbo just sucking in just massive amounts of air just from right there. It... However, there's not enough exhaust noise. This exhaust is awful for this car. The exhaust that's on there right now is a uh, two and a quarter inch uh, Flowmaster with a two and three quarter inch test pipe and a Flowmaster muffler. And it's super restrictive. It's just, ugh. Uh, soon in the future, I'm going to be custom fabbing a three inch stainless steel straight pipe from the downpipe back with a Dynamax bullet muffler. I'm gonna be welding that in with my friends, so that will be an awesome video. And hopefully we'll hear some turbo noises from the exhaust and not just from the, the actual turbo. It's also really gonna help with spool because right now the turbo doesn't spool until around 3,700 RPMs, which is it's pretty high. I mean, it's pretty high. With the three inch straight pipe exhaust, I bet you will be able to get full boost at 2,800. I mean, this exhaust on here is really restrictive. It's bad. And three inches is a little overkill. I could go 2.5 inch and be just fine, but that'll be too quiet. Probably, maybe, I don't know. It's probably gonna be really loud, but I don't care. I like loud. guys, I think that is going to be it for today. I don't really have anything else to talk about. We got lots of stuff coming for this car and I can't wait. Uh, winter just has to fuck off, right? I mean, seriously. It's only January. Uh, uh, but hey, my birthday's in January, so that's fun. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe. It really does help me out. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.